A very good afternoon uh, to everyone and welcome uh, to the third webinar of TOKO India TOKO, uh, which is especially dedicated uh, to the tobacco control uh, aspects uh, of India. And uh, I am Dr. Prashant Kumar Singh, Scientist E and the Nodal Officer of the WHO FCTC Knowledge Hub uh, on Smokers Tobacco, which is being uh, hosted at uh, ICMR and ICPR. And uh, I am joined by my colleague, uh, Dr. Sanjita Roy Pradhan. Uh, so the topic of the today's uh, webinar is uh, on TB and tobacco. And many of you know that uh, last year, India has launched uh, the Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Aviyan. And uh, uh, ICMR has been very dedicated, dedicatedly working on uh, the research uh, aspect of the TBA control and how it is actually uh, linked with other uh, social economic as well as uh, health dimensions, directly or indirectly. So in that aspect, uh, we very well knew that TB is linked with tobacco both in terms of uh, its genesis, its uh, uh, escalation of the disease, as well as if any of the TB patient uh, uh, go for the treatment, uh, tobacco use also affects the treatment uh, performances. So I'm not uh, going to take much of the time in this aspects because uh, we have uh, our very eminent speaker with us, uh, who is a uh, master in this uh, area. And I am so glad that uh, Dr. Rana sir has agreed uh, uh, to our invitation and to deliberate upon this uh, issue, which uh, for the NICPR as well as the WHO knowledge of, it's very important at this uh, juncture. Uh, I know many of the participants who have joined today know Rana sir by heart, his work and, uh, and the kind of contribution he has made in both TB control program as well as national tobacco control program uh, is uh, well known. But still, it's my duty and privilege to introduce Dr. Uh, Rana sir to all uh, my participants. So Dr. Rana sir has over 30 years of experience in the public health. As a medical doctor, he has specialized training in chest diseases and promoting lung health. Dr. Rana has been involved in implementing India's revised national TB control program, national AIDS control program, and national tobacco control program. Dr. Rana is currently working as Deputy Regional Director at the International Union Against Tuberculosis and Lung Diseases, which is very, uh, uh, very famously known as the Union Southeast Asia Office in New Delhi, where he leads the tobacco as well as NCT control program. He is also supporting uh, policy development and its implementation enforcement of uh, laws, capacity building, and policy-focused research, monitoring, and evaluation uh, in India, as well as in many Southeast Asian countries. Uh, and I personally have a privilege of uh, interacting with him many times in the last uh, three to four years, and I am so delighted to uh, welcome you, sir, again. Uh, and just uh, 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 house keeping stuff uh, is that uh, uh, I would request all the participants to write their questions in the chat box and we'll take up the questions uh, in the sequence at the end of the presentation. Uh, Rana sir, it's now uh, over to you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Prashant. 
first of all I, am i audible yes sir very okay, well. thank, thank you thank you very much uh, good afternoon to all of you uh, thanks to nicpr icmr and uh, eco hub for uh, inviting me to this uh, nicpr uh, eco webinar series to speak on uh, dual epidemic uh, of tb and tobacco use globally as well as in india too and why it is important to integrate uh, and develop collaboration between two programs at all levels at all levels so this is something uh, which is really very very important for us uh, i see many uh, colleagues especially dr miranji um, i think uh, someone who has uh, worked a lot and pushed all of us to work together in this important area i see my colleagues dr kesh gupta ji from punjab from um, rajasthan who have been very active in uh, in this area to integration why it is important to 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 integrate uh, um, uh, uh, to address uh, both uh, this dual epidemic so thank you there are many other colleagues so once again uh, uh, good afternoon uh, you see coming back to uh, today's discussion uh, the aim of my talk is just to share what is this dual epidemic why it is important um, to integrate what are the evidences we have whether really tobacco use or smoking particularly is uh, really something which is uh, which is uh, uh, which is affecting sir uh, uh, sorry to interrupt you sir sir yeah aapka sir slides uh, no 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 i i i have not started yet okay nahi sir sir usko slide show pe kariye sir okay okay, okay. Yeah. yes 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 okay sir. okay thank you sir is it okay uh, no sir not yet sir we are uh, we we are expecting that uh, it should sir uh, you need to sir click on the slide show sir on the very uh, right part at the bottom no, no. in the right i have already i have already done it sir i have is... already done now in my my screen it is already in uh, in that uh, mode so if you say on uh, uh, so sir sir uh, if i can we share sir, sir. sir stop uh, stop sharing the slide and then restart again okay yeah. once i will can you see it now no sir uh, not yet sir uh, if you are finding it difficult we can actually share the slide at uh, our end if that is okay with you yes sir then go to sir uh, right uh, yes there yes yes sir i have already done that okay. hello once again once again i am doing that slide show okay, sir. yes so we may expect this time it should work i have done so on my screen it is already on uh, on um, that slide show mode okay sir uh, on we... my screen okay sir that's fine sir but still at our end it is not showing okay on the screen so will you like to do it from your side yes sir yes sir sir we could actually do that sir, sir okay, okay. Uh, so sir if you could just stop oh, yeah we'll look so we are on share sir your slide is now up okay 
So please do it. First slide, opening slide. Opening. Okay. Yeah, sir. So, sir, we are right now at the first slide itself. Okay. Sir. Uh, first opening slide that is with my name. Yes, it's here. Yes, thank you. Uh, so, so coming back to today's uh, uh, discussion, the aim of uh, my talk is to share with you what is the problem of uh, TB and tobacco use. What are the evidences we have that uh, use of tobacco or smoking really affects uh, TB disease and its outcome? and why it is important to address uh, this uh, dual epidemic. Uh, uh, next, please. Uh, let's uh, first of all understand what is uh, the current scenario of uh, both tuberculosis and uh, tobacco use globally and in India. So it is leading cause of death, which is attributing about 1.5 million deaths annually with a quarter of population which is infected with the TB germ that is mycobacterium tuberculosis, 1.5 million death. Uh, second bullet is very important. Current fall in TB burden it was not enough to reach the first uh, 2020 milestone of end TB. So we are doing something, but whether uh, the tuberculosis control program is able to achieve that, please see. As compared to 20, desired 2020 fall in TB incidence, at 4 to 5 percent per year, and case fatality ratio of 10 percent per year, current rate of decline are 2 percent and 3 percent respectively per year. So we we are perhaps uh, not being able to achieve uh, that kind of uh, success. For most countries, that is especially in low and middle income countries, however, the end of TB as an epidemic and major public health problems in the foreseeable future remains an aspiration rather than a reality. So this is uh, the current situation as far as tuberculosis is concerned. Next, please. Now, if we see what is scenario in India, in tuberculosis, roughly 2.64 million incidence cases per annum, as per 2019 report, 2.64 million. Uh, uh, incidence cases in absolute number. If we look at rate, about 193 uh, new cases per 1 lakh population per year. And mortality, currently TB causes about 436 um, lakh deaths, 436,000, uh, that is 4.36 lakh deaths annually, which comes out to be 32 deaths per 1 lakh population. And if we look at tobacco use, India is second largest producer and largest consumer of tuberculosis in world after TB, uh, after China. Currently in India, we have 267 million adult uh, tobacco users uh, in the country above 15 years of age. And the number of deaths we see and compare it with the TB also, nearly 1.36 million Indians die from tobacco use every year. So this is this is huge uh, burden of uh, two diseases as far as our country is concerned. Tuberculosis globally, as uh, the burden is number one in India, and as far as tobacco use is concerned, India is the second largest consumer of tobacco in the world after China. Next, please. <clears throat> now, what is the issue? So this uh, integration which we are talking, it is right now, it is a neglected issue. And it is not something uh, where we have found evidences very recently. We see high prevalence of tobacco use has been noted in studies looking at risk factor for TB since 1918, almost more than 100 years when it was first found that yes, tobacco use or smoking is a risk factor and can lead to increased death among patients with pulmonary TB. TB patients were more likely to be heavy smokers than control patients. Another very important studies like Brown and Campbell in 1961 and other by Luce and others in 1963 
they investigated both smoking and alcohol use and found that alcohol drinking and smoking was a major factor associated with the tuberculosis. Next, please. Man, then thereafter, many systemic reviews and meta-analysis around the globe. Few I have noted which have found a good correlation between tuberculosis disease and uh, tobacco use. Very important study by Karen Salama and others in International Journal of Tuberculosis and Lung Disease, which reviewed 42 papers. Then HHN Lin, they also reviewed about uh, in their uh, meta-analysis about 38 papers. And then M and Bates, they, they reviewed 24 papers, which found some kind of correlation between tuberculosis and tobacco use. Other few study, important studies are PDO by PDO Davis, by C.Y. Chang, and by Madhukar Pai, which has found uh, such correlations uh, of these two uh, major public health challenges. Next, please. Some latest evidences from by Indian authors. For example, there was an important study exposure to secondhand smoke and the risk of tuberculosis in children and adults, which is a systemic review and meta analysis of 18 observational studies by Jadi, Petra, and others, which concluded that uh, secondhand smoke exposure is associated with an increase in the relative risk of latent TB infection and active TB. Similarly, TB burden, it found that it is highest in countries with increasing secondhand smoke exposure. You see, earlier I was working with the TB control program and uh, you now it's a tobacco control. Now, what, what is important thing? All, at least most of high burden TB cases, they are also high burden tobacco use. Uh, countries. So definitely there is a, a big correlation between these two, um, uh, two, two, two challenges, public health challenges. Next, please. Similarly, there is another study, smoking cessation intervention for pulmonary tuberculosis treatment of, uh, outcomes. It concluded that there is high prevalence of tobacco smoking among people with tuberculosis. Poor treatment outcomes are more common among smokers. Very important finding. However, there is lack of high quality evidence that supports the effect of smoking cessation intervention, SCIs, in improving TB treatment outcome. You see, there are many evidences that smoking or tobacco use is, is, a, is a risk factor for TB disease as such and its outcome. But what will be impact of smoking cessation interventions on TB treatment outcome? So still we need to have a, a more such a studies. So definitely we need more randomized controlled trials to, to prove that. Next, please. Uh, union. So union has been, I think, uh, it won't be wrong to say that it is really a pioneer in, in this work. Where... Uh, Union has reviewed a lot of literature on tuberculosis and tobacco use. So one important uh, uh, study which was done, where a Union reviewed uh, articles uh, which were there in, uh, in PubMed, Union database, and Google Scholar. Articles in English were examined for inclusion. Articles not providing information on country of study sample size, population source, age, sex, effect ratio, they were excluded. So this was a very important review which was done by the union and I will share with you what was the findings of uh, uh, this review. Next please. All articles were reviewed by three reviewers independently. The majority was taken in case of disagreement. A fourth review was done in case of three-way disagreement. Next, please. So, uh, the idea of all this review was to see whether there are evidences or not. So, this evidences or level of evidence was divided into few categories. One is strong evidence. 
when we really said that there is strong evidence when at least two high quality cohort and two high quality case control studies established that yes, there is a relation. So we said it is strong evidence. There was moderate evidence. If we have one high quality cohort and two or more high quality case control studies or three or more high quality case control studies were, uh, gave some evidence. So it was a moderate evidence. Next, please. Then <clears throat> third was limited evidence. Yes, there are many studies which, uh, which show some kind of evidence, but is, is it a strong or moderate or limited? If only a single high uh, quality control study or two high quality case control study or three or more high quality cross-sectional studies uh, were there. So it, uh, it was said that there is limited evidence and then not enough evidence. Now, next please. Now, how many studies were reviewed by the union? A total of 1,800 63 references were identified. The full text of 192 articles were screened for inclusion. A final inclusion of 42 articles containing 50 studies for data extraction was used for this meta-analysis. Next, please. Uh, there were different types of studies. There were eight cohort studies. There were 27 case control studies. There were 15 cross-sectional studies. There were different type of exposure also. Active tobacco exposure means the person is a tobacco user. Passive tobacco exposure, which is called secondhand smoke exposure, three studies were, were, were qualified. And both active and passive exposure, that is secondhand smoke exposure, there were three studies which qualify, qualified for this, this analysis. Next, please. None of the studies shows, first of all, again, there is still people say that smoking has a protective effect as far as TB is concerned. None of the studies showed any protective effect of active or passive smoking on tuberculosis outcomes. Of the 50 studies, 44 showed a significant effect of tobacco smoke exposure to a tuberculosis outcome. Very important. And 14 studies found a dose effect relationship. Next, please. Now, this is very important. This slide shows that uh, tobacco smoking has its impact on every stage of the disease. Tobacco smokers, they are likely to have more infection. So seven studies, they were reviewed. All seven studies showed significant association. Please see the last column. Significant association, number of studies, seven. Seven studies showed significant association. Similarly, for secondhand smoke exposure, one study was qualified and that study shows significant association for infection. Similarly, for disease, tuberculosis disease, for conversion of infection to disease, again, tobacco smoking is responsible. All, almost 18 studies, almost every study proved that yes, smokers are more likely to have conversion of infection to and more likely to have tuberculosis disease. Similarly, <clears throat> retreatment TB, that is a relapse of TB. Similarly, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Similarly, uh, default. Similarly, patient delays. The tobacco users are uh, uh, likely to, to have delayed treatment, delayed uh, sputum conversion, so they are likely to have more severe disease. They are more likely to have drug resistance TB. They are likely to die uh, from tuberculosis disease and higher incidence or higher death rates among people. So you see, there are all seven stages of TB disease and smoking is responsible. Tobacco use is responsible uh, for for TB disease, severity of disease, as well as TB treatment outcome. And finally, more death. <clears throat> Next, please. Uh, 
then uh, you see active cigarette smoking as a risk factor for tuberculosis in young adults yes there are evidences that uh, uh, similarly uh, the there is a risk of tuberculosis in young adults as with with the older next please <clears throat> uh next please yes i i, I think uh, i uh, we will have more time for discussion uh so immune system how basically what is the mechanism why tuberculosis why the patients who are smoking they are likely to to suffer from uh, tb disease more likely conversion of infection to disease more likely to have more severe disease and more likely to die from tb disease cigarette smoking you see it increases number of alveolar macrophages but smokers uh, alveolar macrophages have a reduced ability to phagocytize uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis they their ability to kill mycobacterium tuberculosis to phagocytose mycobacterium tuberculosis that is reduced even their ability to kill other bacteria like like uh, staphylococcus or uh, um, listeria monocytogenes that is also reduced so yes macrophages are there but their ability to kill mycobacterium tuberculosis that is uh, reduced similarly smokers of t cells which are responsible for cell mediated immune response they also have a decreased ability to proliferate in the response to t cell mitogens which indicates that uh, there is a deficient cell mediated immunity so both uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 types of immunity or immune response in cases of uh, in, in 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 patients uh, tb patients using tobacco uh, using smoking or using tobacco that is reduced next please no very important question eliminating tb without tobacco control uh although i will also like to focus as it is a dual epidemic you saw the number of deaths among uh, among uh, among tobacco users uh, about 1.36 million so it is even for tobacco control how why this uh, why this integration is important so is it possible to eliminate tb without tobacco control next please uh we already have seen that there is there appears to be enough evidence to conclude that smoking is causally associated with tuberculosis disease right now there is no um, i think uh, there is no doubt that uh, uh, that uh, uh, there is no relation between smoking and tuberculosis disease smoking has been found to be associated with the relapse patients with tuberculosis need and should receive counseling and assistance in stop in stopping smoking although tobacco use is a serious public health concern tobacco control has so far been neglected in terms of tuberculosis control very very important i am sharing with you both globally as well as I, there is good rather good progress there is some progress in our country but uh, but globally it is still a neglected issue potential contribution of tobacco control to the fight against tuberculosis needs to be investigated so more work needs to be done not to not to see that what are the evidences already evidences are there now it is time for integration how really we can provide tobacco control services to the to the to the tuberculosis patients next please now what are the opportunities on tb tobacco control integration to end tb in india uh, what are the levels at what level discussions need to have happen at what level action need to happen so there are various levels of integration uh, which have been uh, which have been defined in uh, in literature one is policy development and planning we need to integrate it is it is not at ultimate level of patient where at the patient we are finally looking at a patient policy development and planning so we need to develop technical and operational 
policies for TB tobacco integration. We need to do uh, lay down guidelines for joint planning and monitoring. We need to build the institutional capacity necessary to ensure sustainability of joint activities of NTCP, NTP, uh, which is now called NTEP, National TB Elimination Program and National Tobacco Control Program. So policy at policy level, we need to have that kind of discussion. Whether it is only responsible of a district or program officer of tobacco control for, t for, uh, for uh, tobacco control, no. I mean, it's important that uh, all public health uh, um, segments of, uh, um, of, of, of administration, they contribute. Uh, for uh, for uh, tobacco control also. So even making our healthcare facilities as smoke-free, tobacco-free healthcare facilities, providing uh, a good environment to a TB patient. So smoke-free environment at both uh, workplace, at, uh, at home. So it is very important that a TB patient gets a smoke-free environment. So this is a policy issue. This is something uh, where we, uh, we, we need to see that uh, prohibition of smoking at public places that is implemented at all uh, uh, public places. So then we need to have joint training of uh, TB control program managers and tobacco control program managers. We need to have joint supervision and monitoring of TB, tobacco, uh, TB and tobacco activities. We need to deliver TB services in smoke-free environment. Tobacco cessation among TB patients is very important. Otherwise, it's really not difficult. Then joint reporting. Both TB control program and tobacco control program, they should report the joint uh, uh, activities which they have done and partnerships. So this is a very, very important that at what are the levels of this integration? It is not only at patient level. It starts from the national level where both programs should sit together and, and see uh, how, how they can address this dual epidemic. Next, please. Next, please. So in short, significant number of TB patients use tobacco with the important implication for tobacco. Introducing tobacco cessation into TB control program is feasible. Look, people often ask, it is, is it possible? Yes, very, it's very easy. It's not something. So it's, and we have already done we have already done some kind of uh, uh, some interventions. It's no, it, it's not an extra extra burden. It is not something which is extra thing. But rather, it is important to eliminate if we want to eliminate TB and effectively control tobacco use in the country. We 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 have to do so. It is very much feasible and can be coordinated in a simple and cost-effective intervention. Do we need an extra cost? No, not at all. And then. Confidence and rapid building with patient is very important. If a tobacco, if a TB patient is a tobacco user, it's very important that uh, we have we have his confidence. We have rapid building with him, so that patient is so that we can have uh, we can extract exact history of tobacco use among TB patient. We can counsel him him or her properly and get the follow up information for undertaking a good tobacco cessation intervention. So this is uh, <clears throat> something which uh, I would uh, uh, like to share with you. Uh, next, please. So there are a few <clears throat> references um, in India. These are a few uh, uh, publications from our country where we have done uh, one intervention in the city of, uh, in, in district of uh, uh, Vadodara in, in, in Gujarat, <clears throat> promoting tobacco association by integrating brief advice in tuberculosis control programs. <clears throat> uh, so this is this was published uh, in 2013. So it's not something which is which is very much uh, new. Uh, I, I was also part of that. Then another uh, intervention by Sonu Goel and others on effect of brief smoking suggestion intervention on adult tobacco smokers with pulmonary tuberculosis. So more such. Uh, uh, so this study again emphasized that more such uh, randomized controlled trials are required in India that how, uh, how this uh, intervention should be more effective. Then we have also come up uh, with a white paper on, on, on fueling the tuberculosis epidemic, role of tobacco control in ending the TB emergency 
by Sonu Goel and others. And this uh, study, this white paper was released in um, World Lung Conference in Hyderabad in 2019. It is published in International uh, Indian Journal of Tuberculosis also. Next, please. Uh, these are a few technical sources. The first manual, TB and Tobacco Control, this was the first manual in 2007, published jointly by WHO and the Union. Uh, so, uh, so it's almost, you see, uh, when these efforts, uh, all the efforts started, it's almost more than two decades when efforts of uh, integrating have started. So on the um, second side, you Green Book, you see, uh, Union published in 2008 and 2010 that is smoking cessation and smoke-free environment for TB patients. Next, please. Next, please. Uh, these, are, these are a few workshops. These are a few initial discussions which happened in our country uh, where, uh, where uh, there was efforts to integrate, uh, uh, integrate uh, 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 tobacco use with the tuberculosis and with other non-communicable diseases. India also constituted an expert group uh, uh, for, for addressing TB and tobacco and dual epidemic and with, uh, and, uh, with those activities of this working group. Next, please. We had another meeting and then uh, we have a joint TB tobacco collaborative uh, framework in the country. Next, please. So this was on right side, you see national framework for joint TB tobacco collaborative activities, which was formally launched by Union Health Minister uh, on World No Tobacco Day in 2018. Uh, on left side, you also see operational guidelines. This is also important for colleagues who are, who are mainly working in TB, uh, that there is an operational guidelines for national tobacco control program. And so, so it's, it's very important that we we were we are able to uh, work collectively as per as 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 guided by this joint TB tobacco collaborative framework. Next, please. So, what are the uh, uh, just just once again with you to share what are the global and national efforts? Uh, as I mentioned, it's not it's almost more than two decades. In two thousand five. WHO Tobacco Free Initiative and WHO Stop TB program in collaboration with the union, uh, they developed a policy paper for successful integration of tobacco control into TB control program in 2005. Then again in 2007, uh, I, I just showed you the WHO union monograph on TB and tobacco. Then again in 2008 and then again in 2010, Union published guidelines on smoking cessation and smoke-free environment for tuberculosis patients. In 2013, World Health Assembly passed a resolution to approve the NTB strategy, which was based upon three pillars. One was integration. Integration is one important pillar for NTB strategy. It's not possible to achieve uh, uh, NTB uh, until unless we integrate patient-centered care and prevention is very important. So prevention again includes tobacco use. Next, please. Then in 2009-10, pilot studies were, in, uh, were done in various countries. This was uh, done by Union also in Bangladesh, India, Indonesia, even earlier in Nepal. So many, many studies were done. Then in uh, 2017, India developed a, this joint collaborative framework, which I have just, just shown you. In 2017-18, again, FCTC Convention Secretariat, they, they partnered with the UNDP to incorporate a tobacco cessation activity into grants program of global fund. You know, there is a global fund uh, uh, for TB, um, AIDS, and malaria. So it was, uh, so thereafter, uh, the global fund included comorbidities, comorbidities of TB as part of uh, uh, as part of uh, uh, TB, uh, 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 as part of TB tobacco control. Then and again in 2017-21, Union in collaboration with the WHO Southeast Asia office, uh, the Southeast Asia's regional response plan for integration of TB and tobacco. Uh, sorry, there is, uh, I think, uh, uh, some uh, uh, mistake in next slides. So in 2017-21, 
a Southeast Asia regional response plan was prepared, uh, which was shared with, by, with the member states of Southeast Asia region. Next, please. So in that way, uh, efforts have been made, but they are not at all sufficient. There is a, literally, if we see at the grassroots level, uh, 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 the integration which is required from highest level at, at the Ministry of Health, then at state level, district level, then at block level, then again at PSC, CSC, and sub-center sub, sub, sub level, ultimately at patient level. So I think a lot more needs to be done. If we really want to end a TB, this is for, as far as tobacco use. So by tobacco, you see many patients will quit to tobacco. And this also has indirect effect on patients' family also. A smoke-free environment in at home is very, very important. This also discourages other members of family not to use tobacco. So this is indirect impact on overall tobacco use in the society if we do this kind of work and this integration. Uh, now we have joint TB tobacco framework. It has its own objective. This is specific to India to establish mechanism of collaboration between NTEP and NTCP for addressing TB tobacco comorbidity, to identify tobacco user among the registered TB patient and provide brief advice. Every TB patient must be provided brief advice uh, for tobacco session to screen for active TB patient in tobacco user. It is not only responsibility of TB control program, even in a tobacco association clinic, any patient, any person coming with a symptom suggestive of TB, that patient must be screened. That must be patient must be screened for TB symptom and should be referred to the TB, uh, TB clinic and for sputum examination and for other, other, other investigations. So that we need to identify how many uh, patients using tobacco are TB patients. We need to strengthen long-term outcomes among TB, cured TB patient. So again, it is very important. Even if a TB patient has quit tobacco, but again, it's very important to see that patient remains quit. So we should link uh, that TB patient with the quit line, emicization, or other uh, sedation services in that district or in that uh, uh, institution. We need to enhance effectiveness of tobacco station services by expanding the outreach to susceptible population. So susceptible population, at risk population, we need to see that uh, this risk factor, that is tobacco use, is nowhere. It should, it should, it should not, it should not be there so that we can protect people from not only tuberculosis, but from other diseases caused by tobacco use. Next, please. So thank you very much once again. And uh, finally, ultimate idea was just to share with you the, the, the current uh, scenario. What are the evidences we have? Yes, there are evidences. There are sufficient evidences of smoking, impacting uh, TB disease as such, as well as TB treatment outcomes. So we need to see that uh, now we are able to effectively implement this TB tobacco joint collaborative framework. So thank you and over to Dr. Prashant and Eco team. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, indeed, uh, I have to say is that uh, I haven't actually come across this uh, much of the clarity and uh, the concise you know, presentation on TB and tobacco, which uh, which you have actually covered in a, such a very uh, nice way, including the burden, as well as how the biology of the, all, the, all the medical sciences actually talked about the TB and tobacco. And eventually, most important is that how the programs are actually taking care of the TB and the tobacco integration uh, part. So, so friends, now we are uh, at, uh, at the Q&A session, and uh, I would like to um, ask my colleague, Dr. Roy, to take over and uh, ask the questions uh, which we have actually re actually received. Um, so uh, with this, uh, we have now reached the question and answer section of today's webinar. Uh, I still encourage uh, all the participants to submit their questions through the chat box, and we'll do our best to address as many questions as possible within the allotted time. So, sir, the first question we received is uh, tobacco and alcohol in the traditional tribal society 
how to change the concept, attitude, and how we can directly influence it. Um, anyhow, uh, although this question is not related to today's topic, but you see, this question uh, often comes. People say it is tradition, it is culture of uh, those societies, not only tribal society. Today, in this question, it is tribal is mentioned. People from Northeast, people from uh, many societies, they, 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 they do mention uh, about, uh, about, uh, about this issue. Uh, tobacco and alcohol. You see, ultimately, it is all behavior change. It is ultimately uh, working at all levels, routine tobacco control strategies, which we have both as at policy level, at awareness level, at behavior change level. So definitely, if uh, tribals is a special population, if you think, you now many districts, whole districts are uh, tribal districts. So if it is a special population, I think uh, we need to design our programs, IC programs accordingly. Um, we have very two important people with us who have been working. I think uh, maybe I will also refer this question to Dr. Miranji and Dr. Kesh Gupta ji, if they will like to add on this. Otherwise, yes. this is, uh, yes. Uh, Dr. Dr. Rakesh uh, Gupta, sir, sir, if you want to add, you know, something, uh, to this uh, aspects of the tobacco, alcohol, and TV part. Sir, you are most welcome. Meera, ma'am, ma uh, uh, if you are still there, uh, I would request you, and I'm actually yeah. taking this opportunity to, I, yeah, to... to you know, I, I think that, yeah. you know, uh, there is a, there's not that much time to really elaborate on this. But I think that it is a question of both, both tobacco use and giving up tobacco, taking the tobacco habit, giving up of tobacco is a behavioral question, right? Yeah. For me, I have always treated it as a behavioral question and it has really allowed me to take care of cessation very well. I usually start with four elements. Then the first element is that people should have, we should eliminate all the gaps in their knowledge between what is what is tobacco, how does it impact TB, what is the connection, like Dr. Rana has explained everything to us, how it really the how the really the process starts. So I think that it is very important to make sure that the person whom we want to help uh, gets uh, an understanding of the relationship, the close relationship between TB. And tobacco. And also, I think that even, even when they do understand, that doesn't mean that they will be able to give up tobacco because tobacco is a different issue altogether. It's a, it's a matter of addiction. And I think we have to deal with addiction in terms of tobacco and whether he, he uses tobacco ordinarily or whether he uses tobacco because of, of contributing it to the disease also. So I think that the first of all, the, the benefit of the new behavior, the benefit of the new behavior is that he will be TB free. He will be, if, if he gives up tobacco, he will, his TB um, the conditions will improve and he would, he would be able to utilize the treatment in a much better way and all that. So I think that it is very important that they understand, the, the people, people understand because it's, it's, uh, uh, it's no use just the professionals understanding the relationship between TB and tobacco. The patients have to understand. And we have to make sure that they get the full knowledge, all the gaps in their knowledge are removed. Plus, they get motivated. Tell them stories of people who have suffered from TB and tobacco and what has happened in their life. And if they gave up, what has happened? So I think that there are so many people who, when they when they get the knowledge and when they get motivation, they want to give it up. And of course, the next step is, is that they should have a skill or to give it up. So we have to help them. And Dr. Rana has elaborated on it, uh, starting from the brief advice to, you know, M cessation and, uh, you know, everything in terms of uh, therapy, in terms of, uh, you know, psychiatrist helping everything and all that. And I think 
And then in addition to that, I think they should have enabling environments. For example, you know, I was involved in, uh, in um, introducing the new uh, TB and tobacco guidelines and I wrote the tobacco guidelines and I, I even came to the uh, came to the uh, to the extent of saying that even when they even when where they go for their treatment, that place should be totally smoking and there should be no smoking all around. They should not be able to be seeing people using tobacco. So I think that it is very very important that we control their environments in all kinds of manners. Not only and Dr. Rana has rightly said that at home also. At the at the clinic, at their place of work, and everything, you know, and uh, and I think that uh, you know, and uh, the enabling environments will help them, you know, will help them to you know to really get an understanding of how it contributes to. And I think in the uh, enabling environment, start right from home, starting where you tell your family to help him, to help you. You know, to if by mistake you are found to be smoking or anything, then they should check you out. And I think that it is a it's a very elaborate uh, kind of uh, uh, process that you have to follow, but it is possible. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, sir, uh, we have a, uh, another question from Dr. Rakesh Gupta, sir, uh, who actually has asked that should MSW review its decision for TB adjudication since it is related with the tobacco control? Uh, 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 no, uh, uh, you see, as far as on today, uh, Ministry of Health and in very recent statements of uh, Prime Minister of India also, so the recently uh, yes, definitely program is being reviewed, but target of uh, elimination of uh, 2025 by India, that is, that remains the same. So there is, a, there is no, there is no change. Uh, and uh, as far as integration of uh, TB eradication with the tobacco control, I would only like to say that yes, as well as national strategic action plan for TB control, that is, and the TB strategy of India, uh, tobacco control has been mentioned. It is an important uh, area uh, which needs to be addressed. So definitely tobacco control is an important strategic area for TB elimination uh, in our country's action plan. Yes, that is there. Uh, how much work is happening? That is the second, uh, second, uh, second thing. Uh, but yes, it is part of that integration. So, and this uh, next question is from Amud uh, Prabhu, who has actually asked that, uh, sir, have you looked into the other countries on how they combated similar problem of uh, their duality of TB and tobacco? Uh, yes, I in the beginning I mentioned that yes, integration is uh, hardly hardly any integration, and uh, you will be happy to know that uh, it is uh, India. Uh, which which has uh, now developed this uh, this TB tobacco joint collaborative framework. Still, people around the world they are doing small uh, small you know, pilot studies in a block in a uh, in a small area to see this uh, this uh, this uh, evidence to to see evidence that whether smoking is related to tobacco. Now it's time for integration. And no, uh, it's not a very effective. Only small studies, which I mentioned in a few countries like India, Bangladesh, but not at a program level. Mm -hmm. In our country, is it possible to 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 provide tobacco station services to to uh, uh, to two point six four million tobacco use uh, TB patient, which are being diagnosed every every year? Can we are we providing them uh, tobacco station services even if they are uh, extra pulmonary TB patients also? So yes. Globally, globally, still uh, that kind of uh, comprehensive uh, integration is not happening. And this was something which I raised in one of the world conferences where uh, uh, people from all across WHO and many, they were present. But actual integration has not happened. Yeah. So thank you so much. Uh, sir, uh, I also uh, joined the, uh, the, the words which have been actually written by the uh, you know, Bukta sir, about your efforts in 
both uh, RNTCP and uh, NTCP. Uh, sir, uh, uh, I am also grateful that uh, Dr. Sonu Goyal is uh, here. Sir, uh, you raised a uh, hand, you know, somewhere in between. Sir, if you have anything to contribute or to ask. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Prashant. And uh, I think uh, who better person can deliver this talk uh, as Dr. Rana because he has worked uh, uh, long years, as Dr. Rakesh has told, in, NTC, uh, in tobacco TV control program and now in tobacco control program. So, sir, it was a treat listening to you. Few things actually, uh, it, it is also for uh, Dr. Prashant and other researchers as well. Um, because uh, there is a now TB tobacco collaborative framework is there. Uh, there has been uh, few papers, few written by you and few by us on uh, the integration of tobacco at different levels, uh, at the national level, at state level, regional level. So at different levels and uh, different points uh, have been there. So is, it is a right time to actually assess what is the level, what is the percentage of integration at different level right now? So um, where are we? Where are we currently after 10 years of the National Tobacco TV framework? So this is uh, one thing which uh, I think uh, needs um, uh, emphasis. And this can, uh, this can give another push to the government that uh, these are your roles. So now there was a framework earlier and now it is time for effective implementation at different levels. So this is one thing which I uh, uh, just think about. And uh, second thing which I am uh, thinking is now there are various models which are available. Uh, not, not much, but there are various models from global as well as at the national level, at the state level. So there are like uh, some, some state like Himachal Pradesh and a uh, few other states have tried to implement uh, something. So uh, we can have maybe uh, a follow up to your session some good practices adopted on uh, at the global level and at the subnational level on this TB uh, tobacco uh, collaboration. So, because people would like to see, because there are, I can see many non-governmental partners are here and uh, they are very good at replication of some ideas. So, I think uh, this is a very good lecture in the sense and you have given a very good insights about what literature says and some of the policy models, but I think a follow-up uh, presentation uh, can be there in which some case studies on um, uh, like at the global level, uh, there are a few things done at uh, Nepal um, and Indonesia, something. So at the global level and the sub-national level, which can be depicted. And again, that can go again to the government that these are some of the doable things which will, uh, which will affect uh, the implementation of uh, this TB tobacco at the various levels, subnational level and the national level. So I think these are my two um, suggestions, I think. But uh, the yes. talk was excellent. And yes. thanks to ECO, I think, uh, for arranging this uh, talk. Nice zipper. Uh, excellent work. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir, uh, last uh, two questions from my side, sir. <laughs> So one is about uh, how you are actually looking at uh, TB and smokeless tobacco per se, because sir, the evidences which I have actually now, you, you, you know, collecting from both global as well as the national, I have actually seen, uh, I'm seeing a very clear picture that there is a definite scientific evidence exists about tobacco and cigarette smoking. But sir, what I'm actually puzzling to understand how the TB stands for uh, the BD smokers as well as sorry, smokers tobacco users. And sir, my next you, you, you know, connected question is that, sir, there are three studies which I've actually seen uh, fr uh, uh, from uh, uh, TB, TB hospitals. They've actually shown that, sir, uh, during the treatment, the patient uh, or the tobacco users have actually quit smoking, but at an alarming stage, they have actually switched to smokeless tobacco. And uh, unfortunately, sir, those studies uh, never actually talk about uh, the entire treatment, uh, what do you know, follow-up. So, sir, what I would like to know from you is that what are the gaps you are seeing in terms of smokeless tobacco per se, and what you could actually recommend us from the research point of view that can be done uh, to actually supplement some very, uh, uh, very important uh, scientific ev uh, evidence on smokeless tobacco and TB. Sir, 
Yes. So thank you very much. Uh, uh, you see, in India, when uh, we all started working, uh, so definitely we it was smokeless tobacco, which was which is coming up again and again in our discussion. And definitely BD is most common form of smoking. Yes, BD and BD smoking and uh, and TB. Yes, there are few studies. But as far as smokeless tobacco is concerned, even I remember I that time I talked to Dr. Uh, Gupta ji also, uh, Dr. Uh, P. C. Gupta ji. Uh, but yes, uh, right now there are not enough evidences. You see, that was why I stored that slide. That when we will say strong evidence, moderate evidence, uh, um, uh, minimum evidence, and then no evidence. So, so that is uh, that means really we need to have a long uh, uh, many studies looking at looking at uh, each aspect, uh, including uh, case control studies then um, cross-sectional studies. So all kinds of studies are required. Uh, as such, we don't uh, have that enough evidences. And that is why, and as such, we do not, uh, uh, do not uh, speak. Uh, uh, but definitely for India, it is important uh, issue to see uh, how much uh, smokeless tobacco contributes to, to TB burden, TB disease as such. But definitely, second part you mentioned about that switch over. Yes, it always happens. Uh, TB patients using tobacco, smoking, and they often switch to smokeless tobacco. And that was why in, in the beginning, I also mentioned that how oh, even a patient, if, a, if he or she is cured of TB, how he or she remains or stay quit. So that is why follow-up is very important. Uh, and they switch on to smokeless tobacco because still people, there is, there is a, a thinking, um, uh, people believe that smokeless tobacco is less harmful. That was why we are always very cautious in mentioning that no, smokeless tobacco, BD, they are also harmful. Um, and, uh, and it does not mean they need to switch. So that is something a message should come from. I think this all requires all such things uh, they, that requires uh, uh, a good uh, a good confidence building, which I mentioned in the beginning, a good rapid building uh, with the with the, with the TB patient, even with the families also. Many a times, uh, family patient uh, patient denies that he or she uses tobacco, but a family member tells that no, sir. They, he 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 smokes or he chews chews uh, smokeless tobacco. So I think uh, this is the something which is uh, an issue where to be addressed by 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 the by our health professional that uh, patient uh, quits because during treatment patient is receptive to our disease because he is suffering from disease like TB he is always okay sir I will do I will quit everything but as soon as his symptoms are gone he feels better then he again starts uh, using tobacco especially after the treatment. So that is something which requires, simply requires a continuous follow-up, continuous uh, 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 counseling that uh, he should not use any kind of tobacco. But definitely you are right if, uh, if, it, if it is happening. And uh, uh, this, this is true. Okay. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Now, sir, uh, we are at the uh, end of this you know, webinar. And so once again, uh, I would, uh, on the behalf of entire uh, ICMR and ICBR team, uh, I would uh, extend my thanks to you for uh, your uh, this very interesting talk on TV and tobacco. And I am hopeful that all the participants have gained much, uh, much uh, insightful understanding about this very important issue. Sir. Uh, uh, there is another one uh, question, has there from, uh, I think, Dr. Kazmi, has there been any Indian study documenting? Yes, there are uh, uh, no studies which uh, which clearly shows. Um, I mentioned in global studies, but yes, there are uh, some studies by Sina and others which uh, which uh, associates uh, smoking with uh, MDR uh, MDRTB. So the patients who are smoker, they were more likely to have resistant to one or two anti TB drugs. Uh, yes, both current as well as past smoking history that uh, that always leads to hindrance in drug adherence. I, I I mentioned in my in my study, but I am not aware whether this kind of study Indian study is available, where uh, where uh, patient delay 
or patient you can say default is associated with uh, with the smoking uh, but definitely we can look at that thank you okay sir okay sir thank you sir so much once again thank, thank you, you everyone for uh, for uh, joining us and participating in this very important talk thank you thank you thank you very much thank you sir